This is Twit. Do you know what this is? Oh, is it a uh, is it electric compact? No, it is the Aquara FP2 <laughs> millimeter wave sensor. Oh. This is, according to Stacy, the hottest sensor coming on the market in 2023. So millimeter wave, I'm aware of because that's what they use at the airport when they go whoop, whoop, and they uh, scan you for arms and stuff, right? That's millimeter wave. Right. It is. So they're actually using radar. They're not using the same uh, frequency. Oh, it's not the same frequency. Scheme over the and what would you use this cool what you, little what thing scanning for? for? Yeah. Let me tell you. Oh, all right. So I was like, don't worry. I won't leave you hanging. So they showed this off at CES. This is a presence detection sensor. Ah. What's cool about it is instead of like a traditional PIR sensor, what it has with the radar you get a little bit more granularity. So this will actually detect the number of people in a room. It also can be placed on the ceiling and used as a fall detection model. Oh. And just for fun, it measures lux. So the amount of light you've got in a room. So it's PIR nice. is infrared. So when I have, for instance, my Hue lights have a motion sensor. That's just an infrared beam. And if I break it, then they know I'm here and they turn the lights on, right? Yes. This is, and this this is, is like radar. Yeah, this is radar. And so they uh, what it allows you to do, uh, like I said, multiple people. So that's pretty cool. It also allows you to finally kind of block off an area oh. and create different zones. Oh, I'd like I'm, that because like, sometimes the lights turn on when, when I don't want them to because just because I'm in the room. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Or you could have your lights turn on when you hit a specific zone or yes. like if your bed, if it's in your bedroom and your bed is the zone, yeah. you could be like when two people hit this zone, lights out. Uh, the other thing is... Oh, that sounds romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? What happened? You could you could also do two people, hit this bed, play romantic music, whatever. Oh, so it, so, oh, so it can man. tell how many people are in the room. Right. Oh, that's up really to, neat. It does best with three, but it is up to five. The downside, <laughs> so here are the downside. Three, if you have five people in your bed, you maybe you should consider... Maybe just your life. living room, like if back. everyone's sitting down, <laughs> if one person's at the like dining room table, maybe it's your kids studying and you know yeah. that. So then you have brighter lights. I do like people, the fall detection idea because I don't, my mom, 90, I, you know, I'm worried, very worried about her falling. I'm not going to put a camera. She wouldn't want a camera in there. So this is, I can't see her, but I would. Mind your she, own business. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. so here comes. Here comes a couple caveats so far, and I've been playing with this only for like 24 or 48 hours, so I have not gone through all of them. I'll have a review up soon, though, like next week. Um, okay, caveat one, it's wired. And caveat yeah. two is for fall detection, it will only be used for fall detection. You can't use oh. it for anything else if you're using it for that. Oh. Because mm. the best placement for fall detection is on your ceiling, provided your ceiling is only nine feet tall. Um, um, that's in old these houses, are, right? Yeah. These are, I mean, it won't work in my living room because it's a cathedral ceiling. But for yeah. my study, we could have fall detection in here. Um, so, so those are some of the... we made her laugh so hard. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go off. Or I just swooned. <laughs> so... But this is like literally like it's sold out already. It, it is an 80, like it's $83. It's $82.99 over at Amazon um, where I believe it is still sold out. But it's a really interesting device and I'm really excited to play with it because it's going to allow way more complicated smart home integrations and yeah. wall detection. <clears throat> and we have established that there is nothing to fear from millimeter wave radar. Well, what do you mean? Nothing like what kind of fear? I don't have? know. Radiation. It's like a scramble. Okay, my so eggs some or things anything, to. Is it? Oh no 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 no! Okay. Millimeter waves, pretty. <laughs> this this isn't even as strong as the airport machines, but oh okay. Also, scramble my eggs. <laughs> there is something like it's worth Honey, thinking about. This. Breakfast is ready, and I didn't do anything. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's thanks to the presence sensor FP2 egg scrambler. <laughs> when it sees people in with, the room, it scrambles their eggs. I'm sorry, it's not with that powerful. With this sort of, like, when it's detecting falls, it's detecting a specific dis type of disruptive pattern in the millimeter waves, right? So yeah. it's shooting out the waves. It's like, oh, a fall looks like this. It is possible, because these are high precision, to detect things like 
people doing things or people, mm. I always use the example of if they wanted to, they could create an algorithm to measure if you kick your dog or not. Yeah. Um, so just because it's not a camera doesn't mean it can't share mm. information that you still wouldn't like having out in the world, Interesting. but yeah. they do have to build an algorithm for it. Uh, it's got a USB-C port. Is that where it gets its power from? Yeah. And I mean, if you got to mount this on a ceiling, you're going to have to, I'm, like when I'm going to test that, I'm going to have to put an extension cord in because yeah. the cord is probably. I have POE in my I ceiling. Feel. I guess I could get, there must be something not... that will take Ethernet and turn it into regular electricity. It only needs five watts. So that would probably be. Yeah. It. And it's got a, it's got a micro USB. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess. Hold on. That was terrible. Uh, <laughs> USB-C, it says. Yeah. Sorry, USB-C. And then it doesn't have matter. It does support HomeKit. And then, so HomeKit, the Aquara app, if you want fall detection, you have to do it only through the Aquara app. If you want, if you put it through Google and Amazon, it supports only presence, not Lux. And if you do it through IFT and HomeKit, it supports Presence and Lux. Here's a question. You think we'll see more of these kinds of things? I mean, this is yes. the first I've seen, but uh, I presume it must be uh, doable. I've been talking about this for years. Yeah. RF sensing is the new hotness in smart home. And actually, the new, the latest Ecobee, the Presence detection, the people detection, and the latest Ecobee thermostat is radar. It is millimeter ah, radar. Nice. Um, because it's... It's more precise. It, um, I mean, PIR works in the dark, but it really works in the dark. <laughs> right, right. So there, it has a lot going for it. It's very interesting. How much? Uh, this one's eighty two ninety nine. Ooh, it's a little pricey. But I guess you wouldn't get more than one per. Well, if you want to do fall detection, you have to put one in each room that you care yeah, about falling in. That you care about. You can fall in the kitchen, mom, but. Uh... Don't fall in the living room because I couldn't afford to have a sensor yeah. there. Hey there, Scott Wilkinson here. In case you hadn't heard, Home Theater Geeks is back. Each week, I bring you the latest audio video news, tips and tricks to get the most out of your AV system, product reviews, and more. You can enjoy Home Theater Geeks only if you're a member of Club Twit, which costs seven bucks a month. Or you can subscribe to Home Theater Geeks by itself for only $2.99 a month. I hope you'll join me for a weekly dose of Home Theater Geekitude.